Santa's Aussie Holiday by Maria Farrar and Anna Walker. The Arctic's cold with ice and snow, and that's where Santa lives, you know. On Christmas Eve, he flies so fast, we rarely see him whizzing past. But he keeps a lookout on his way for a place to take his holiday. Each year, he likes to have some fun, a chance to get some rest and sun. He needs to find somewhere to go. He spins his globe. Ho, ho, ho! A big smile spreads across his face. Australia is the perfect place. He packs his bag, his surfboard too, and lands his sleigh at Australia Zoo. He leaves his reindeer in the care of friendly locals who live there. He hires a ute for four-wheel driving, then heads up north for... Scuba diving! He dives around the barrier reef and meets a shark with long, sharp teeth. He drives across the desert sands to where magnificent Uluru stands and watches till the day is through, then leaves to visit... Kakadu! The crocodiles, they make him shiver as he cruises up the Yellow River. But the ancient art of the Aboriginal, he finds both interesting and original. In Albany, he watches whales and walks along the forest trails. He meets the quokkas on Rot Nest before he turns to leave the West. On Phillip Island, just by chance, he joins in the koala dance. And as the sun sets golden red, the fairy penguins come home to bed. Tasmania next, where he finds a spot as crew upon a racing yacht. The wind is strong, the sea is rough. Soon Santa thinks he's had enough. His speedos red and white and tight give Bondi surfies quite a fright. The big waves leave him feeling dizzy. He keeps the lifeguards very busy. Although he's having so much fun on holiday in the sea and sun, he knows he has to head back north to prepare for December 24th. He hangs a boomerang on his sleigh and shouts, See ya, mate! And he's on his way. Although he's very sad to leave, he'll be back in Oz on Christmas Eve.